もっとはい。皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have Tomoko and Kazu with me today. Hello! Alright. So, guys, look at me. You look a little、yeah. bit different than、That's、usual. That's right. I'm not wearing my kimono. And look at right behind me, it says here Masahiro Tantojo. And today is probably, for me at least, is the most exciting k y o t o h i d e n gem series we're ever going to be filming. Making a small knife made from the real steel that you make katana from. So, this is going to be a great experience.、Mm. In this channel, we'll be introducing hidden gems in Kyoto. So, if you're a Kyoto lover plan to come to Kyoto someday, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So, let's go inside. Let's go inside. This is super exciting. At Masahiro Tantojo's experience, you can create a knife in just a few hours while receiving instructions from a professional katana swordsmith. The process of making this knife is very similar to that for a real katana, and the tools and workplaces used for the experience are, of course, what the swordsmith uses every day. Through this experience, you can deepen your understanding of Japanese sword making in a short amount of time. よろしくお願いします。お願いします。います Today we will have Nakanishi-san, an established katana swordsmith, teach us the process and techniques. We got to hear very interesting stories related to katana, so I hope you can enjoy this video till the end. First, he taught us the points to look for when examining a katana. There are mainly three parts to look at the whole shape. The hamon pattern and the jigane, which are the layers of the hammered steel. Point one, the whole shape. By looking at the curvature, you can roughly guess the time period of when the katana was made. As the time period goes back, the curvature of the blade becomes larger. Japanese katana began to be made from around the mid Heian period, about 900 years ago. In order to guard and protect the aristocrats that were the center of politics, more and more warriors began to hold katana. The reason why katana from older time periods have stronger curves is actually still unclear. Back in the days, warriors would fight while riding horses. Therefore, it is believed that curved blades were easier to draw out of the sheath. After the end of the Kamakura period, katana began to be used in group battles. Which led to the blades becoming straighter. Point two, hamon patterns. The hamon are the wavy patterns that can be seen on the blade. Japanese katana have a quenching process in order to harden the blade. By hardening the blade, it will become sharper but easier to break. However, if the blade isn't hardened, it will become a blade that is hard to break but dull. In order to solve this problem, Dirt is used in the quenching process to purposely create a temperature difference. By doing so, the blade side is hardened while the back side remains flexible. The hamon is the borderline between the hard part and the soft part of the blade, and it comes in many designs. Point three the jigane. The jigane is the pattern of the steel that can be seen on the blade. Katana are manufactured using steel called Tamahagane, which is made from iron sand. たまはがねですかこれ何グラムぐらいと思うんですかえ、1キロ以上ありそうなぐらいな気がしますほんとに持った感じでぐらいたぶんそれはね非常にその思い入れがあるんでその思い入れの思いが加味されてるんで多分1
In order to make up for these two weak points, the tamahagane is hammered, folded in half, hammered again for about 10 times. After this process, more than 1,000 layers are created, appearing as beautiful patterns like the rings of a tree. The miniature knife that I will be making today looks like this. I'm super excited to see how I'm going to be making it. We move to the workshop to start the miniature katana making experience. We started off with hizukuri in order to roughly shape the knife. Regularly, you would hold the steel with tongs, but Nakanisan welded it on a metal stick to make it easier to work on. Before I start making the knife, Nakanisan will show me how to do it. First, you will start a fire in the furnace. By moving the bar on the side, the small opening above will open and close, sending air into the furnace. This time, we were able to use the fire within the furnace just by sending some fresh air. Nakani-san said that he carefully picks out the charcoal he uses. Surprisingly, the fire temperature differs depending on the kind of charcoal. The kind used here are made from Japanese red pine. According to Nakani-san, they last shorter but produce higher temperatures and are fit for making katana. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. I don't know how you guys can see it through the camera, but it's really close. <laughs> We're standing right next to it right now. The first step is to narrow the tip while keeping the thickness even. In order to do so, you need to hammer the tip strong and the root weak. いきます。起こしといて。さあ、力抜いてきます。こう軽く。はい、根が下げてよく。根の力抜いてきます。根の根が下げてよく。根の根が下げてよく。根の根が下げてよく。根の根が下げてよく。根の根が下げてよく。根
It is important that you do not tilt it too much. About 10 degrees is optimal. ま、幅も広がってくるんで。これ繰り返しも反対の。そうすると、これ薄いと。Finally, you finish off the shape of the knife. It is crucial that you have a clear image of the final product and you aim for it. なんで。すごい。最後まっすぐがどうかだけ見てもらって、まっすぐなってないとちゃんとちゃんと書いて、まっすぐに。あ、一瞬でしたね。すごい。本当に。本当に小型だな。ということで、一番大事なのは、あの
Then I got the, uh, the goggles I'm going to put in these on for, for safety. Now, probably the uh, fire flakes. No, what's the word? いいですね。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう
You can adjust it by facing the blade upwards and lightly hitting it. On my 13th try, I was finally able to sharpen the tip and reduce the thickness. The tip of the knife was a little bit bent to the right. This can be fixed without using any fire. After shaping the knife with this hizukuri process, the next step is annealing called yakinamashi. Yakinamashi is the process where we relieve the stress from the steel particles after all the heating and hammering. If you lack this yakinamashi, the knife may bend when hardening the steel later on. In this process, the knife is heated to about 700 degrees Celsius and is placed in ashes made by burnt straws. The ashes will shut out the air, allowing the knife to cool down slowly and relieving its stress. We will leave it for a while and wait for it to cool. Next, I will make the haom patterns. The materials for the dirt that make the hamon consist from powdered charcoal, clay, and powdered whetstone. The selection of charcoal and clay are up to the swordsmith, but materials that have a high viscosity are preferred in general, as they often do not break at high temperatures. This is absolutely necessary because it hardens the blade end in the quenching process, which makes the whole blade more durable. Because the blade side has a thin layer of dirt, it is cooled rapidly, allowing this side to become hard. The back side of the blade is applied with a thicker layer of dirt so it takes more time to cool down, leading this side to become more flexible. While I practiced making a hamon pattern, my knife has cooled down so Nakani-san grinded and polished it. なんで洗うかと言いますと、この油がついてると土が取れやすいんですよ。ってことで、ま、昔ながらの今くとりの方法です。向こうでもあの、焼き生しって藁の灰に入れましたよね。この藁の灰をつけて洗うと油分が取れ
磨きましたんでいやーすごいですねまだ歯はついてません多少残ってます本番をしていただきます次は両面です両面両面ですかねましたこれでよろしければこの3つの波で。肩揃ってます。いいっすよ。本当ですか。<笑>ちょっとずれちゃったなと思いながら。I had Nakani-san fix it up a little bit before drying the dirt. で乾燥させるんですけど、急激に温度上げちゃうと、やっぱりこの内部と。その表面の,このなんていうかね乾燥具合が違うとやっぱりかあ割れてきたりするんでん乾かしますあわかりましたただちょっと日のねこの遠い場所に置いといて多少はじんわりと The next step is quenching in order to harden the blade As a preparation for the quenching the larger pieces of charcoal in the furnace are replaced with finer ones This is to prevent the dirt from being scraped off from the knife. Also, the curtains were closed. In order to see the color of the steel clearer, the small lighting was turned on and hot water was prepared in a pail. Ah, it's good. It's good. It's good. はい。下向きにはいこの状態で炭の中に入れましょうゆっくり入れる、はいうん、ゆっくり上向けは入れずに下向けは入れるはいでここで電気消しますはいわあ綺麗。Determining when to pull out the knife depending on its color is everything about this process so the lights were turned off at this timing Check the knife when pulling it out from the charcoal until the blade reaches this color. もう電気つけます。はい。OK の端に置いてもらって、これで一、はい、2、で上げましょう。一、二、一、二、一、二、一、二。だいたい5、6回、これで一、二やってもらうと、これで OK なんで。あシーソーのようにやってください。こう置いてからこうね。When determining the timing to pull out the knife, you must look at the color of the blade side with less dirt instead of the back side of the knife with a thicker layer of dirt. ということで、まあ、ほぼ乾きましたね。はい、<笑>いやー、綺麗ですね、本当に。じゃあ、これをやっていただく最後のね、はい、分かりました,ました。はい、ではまずは、はい、歯を上向きにして、てはい、炭の中に、あ炭の上に置きましょう。上に置いてしまう。そうですね。すねはい、では風を送ってください。はい、風を送ります。今と強くていいです。は
はい、はい、強く強く強くもっと強くそうそういいっすよブルーファイアーズそうビューティフォーマーケットのスパークス Next, you flip the knife and place it in the charcoal. So, so, so. You could so, I'm not a comma, documa, documa. Hi, so this, oh, it's a little bit. Hi, there, I'll kiss my. Oh, I'm not a good one. Oh, so good. 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 はい、一回出してチェックしましょうはい、出してきてはい、九、は、十、い、で横向きましょうはい、はい、また低いですまた入れて,入れてくださいお願いします、はい、そうそうそうゆっくり入れてあげてそうはい OK でしょう水に入れましょうはい一回上げてもらってはい、はい、ここ一回置きましょう歯を下にしといて,てどうぞ、一、二で一、二、もう一回、二、二、もう一回、はい、三、四、はい、もう一回、五、はい、もう一回、どうか、まあ、あともう一回やってみましょうか。もう一回。オッケーです。もらいます。はい。オッケーです。ああ。こうね。はい。土も取っちゃうんですけど。こんなに簡単に取れるんですね。あ、いいんじゃないですか。入ってますね。すごい出てる出てる。こっちも。おお。What looks good? Pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Really good job. Yeah, you see the three bumps there.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before polishing the knife, the process of reheating called yakimodoshi is necessary. The steel of the knife is currently expanded with much stress applied to it, so it is fragile and will become nicked if polished immediately. In this yakimodoshi process. The blade will be reheated using heat that is about 180 degrees to relieve the stress in the steel. With processes like annealing and reheating, it was interesting to know that steel that seems very firm and strong is actually delicate and fragile. Okay. Okay. スストレス取れたんちゃうかとこれで上げすぎるとせっかく硬くなったのが戻っちゃうやるはい、間を取るっていう感じいや絶妙ですね中西さん、カラフ、The Welded Bar Part and Polish Knife once again <笑>取れましたね In this experience, you can have any character engraved. What character do you think I chose? I had the kanji character Harumi engraved 
meaning Sunny, which is also my wife's name. It is a kanji character that is quite complicated, but Nakani-san engraved it perfectly. Yes. はい。ってことで。うわ。お疲れ様でした。ありがとうございました。最後に溶け込む箱に入れると That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much guys. This was Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. First, I'd like to ask Tomoko and Kazu how it was for you guys watching. How was it for you too? Did you start for Kazu then? Mm. I just enjoyed watching you enjoy so much. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you know, I seriously know your love and passion towards katana. Absolutely. Swords. This mm -hmm. like once in a lifetime experience in mm. Kyoto. Imagine really easily before coming that you're going to enjoy this so much. Awesome. Yeah, I just got to see you have your moment of life and you know, it was just so... <laughs> fun um filming and you yeah. know and so the knowledge and you know information that the sensei had mm -hmm. was just extraordinary and also his passion oh, towards yeah. that sword was... making was amazing as well, well. oh the remarkable parts um, definitely yeah so mm -hmm. i just enjoyed this whole experience yeah because mm -hmm. right now is at yai kenjutsu tamashiri training this was her first time coming to uh actual actual work yeah. workshop yeah Our so time, right? mm. so yeah. How was it for you, Tomoko? I enjoyed it so much. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. I love the part, yakire part. Oh yeah, they then turned off lights and everything. Because it got dark, right? Mm -hmm. So we can concentrate on the katana. That's right, that's right. It was a magical time. Magical right. time, yeah. Yeah. So you know guys, because I love katana. Obviously, you guys know about that, right? <laughs> really? Yeah. So <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I probably didn't know that I love Katana so much, but you know, I've studied everything about this. I obviously knew all the process through mm -hmm. books and such, but actually, you know, holding on to those items, you know, applying these, the tsuchi, for example, to make the hamon, you know, holding on to the hammers, you know, actually touching it with my hands, it's completely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my fellow katana lovers, please don't think that you understand how katana are made just by reading books. You have to come here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then finally, you'll understand what katana making is about. So, super, super recommended from me. Mm. Yeah, as a person, we actually got to do the whole process. So, and again, you know, because you get to write your favorite kanji character or whatever it is here, it can become a gift, a souvenir for your loved ones as well. Mm. So, I think that'll be a great uh, another thing that I recommend on this uh, experience to you as well. Mm. This was really, really amazing. So then everyone, if you're actually interested in coming here to Masahiro Tantojo, please take a look at our description box and the link to their website. And our goal is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. And we'll see you in our next Kyoto Hidden Gems. For my wife, Harumi. Bye bye. もしから取れそうにないですか。なんかちょっと手伝ってもらってる。ちょっと手伝ってもらってる。あんまりこっち別にそんなにほどいらないんだけど。これそんな困ってないんだけど。いや、絶対違うと思うから。<笑><笑><